Hi and welcome back to Finders Beepers History Seekers over on the second channel Beeper Beef. Your face looks a bit fuzzy from here. You're not quite close enough to camera, are you? Look at him. Couldn't reach you, I tried to lick your head. Anyway, we are in London. We've just been on the first day of VidCon. We didn't really want to film the first day, although something has just happened that potentially could be amazing for us. Uh, I was just speaking on the VidCon thing talking Forum thing. yeah talking to lad bible and then we were speaking to some other lad that we may be working with moving forward not going to tell you any more about that though until it happens so we are going to head off probably towards those cable cars where you can see behind us just to see how much it is uh, i think those people in the window opposite us think we are filming them through their bedroom window when actually we're pointing it at our faces so we better go Close really blind on us. yeah i think they think we're being dodgy right we will see you soon and hopefully we're gonna have a good fun weekend yes Hi. Hi. So we're just making our way up. How are you feeling at the moment? Well, like Is it not too bad? I yeah. thought you would hate this because literally you can see straight down there. Or is it because you're not looking because straight I'm down? Closed. <laughs> I'm safe. So if I put you one of the in one of these and put a parachute on it and no. threw it out of a plane, you'd be fine then. Yeah, I'd be fine. Look at that view. That's that's pretty amazing. Can you hear the seats creaking as I'm like <laughs> breaking them with my big fat ass? How high did you say this was? 295 feet at the highest point. Well, we're definitely, we're not, not anywhere there, yeah. near that. Yeah. We're just down over a big road. But yeah, it is pretty cool. <sighs> what are we doing tonight then? Uh, I'm going to get some to eat. What? I don't know. What do you fancy? Um, I don't really fancy Chinese or Indian. Right, so we are coming off the cable cars. We will be going back on them in a bit. Bloody woman, shut up. There's always one woman just shouting when I'm trying to do stuff. Jesus, I thought we were going to fall down them then. You wouldn't know you were going to turn around. <laughs> right, let's. Uh, we're going to be going back over there shortly. We're just going to have a bit of an explore around this bit. Right, so that's the side men's kick town. Well, it's Harry from the side men's kick town. Basically, it's just a bit of a a football target practice thing. I wouldn't mind having a go to be fair, but it'll be about 30 quid, which I can't be bothered to pay. And then we've got this guy watching the children playing football. Yeah, why not? Weirdo. It's like every dad on a Sunday morning, isn't it? Yeah, but you've got to be your own children, not somebody else's. That's the point. <laughs> I, forgot, I forgot about that. <laughs> I think we should do some sort of football challenge. Crossbar challenge or some sort of football challenge. Yeah, because then I can win. <laughs> You can't kick a ball. I used to play football and then I got banned because of me running. We can do a crossbar challenge on any, any football pitch. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We don't have to do it in there. Yeah. That's what exactly my point. We don't have to do it in there. We'll crossbar go... challenge? Yeah. I'm up for that. A crossbar challenge for yeah. Matt versus Andy? Yeah. I'm, up, I'm definitely up for that. Let's get it done. We'll do that. Cool. That's easy. That's an easy one to do. Yeah. And I would on a Sunday morning or evening yeah. or something. Don't have to be... Thing. And it, we could find some nice, like, amazing pitch somewhere, or maybe blag his way into a football ground or something. Or just get into a football ground. Well, did you see that about Wednesday? We know where there's a football ground. Well, well I know where there's lots of football grounds. Well, what we've been in. Oh yeah. oh, yeah, we could do it there. That'd be a good idea. Yeah. But did you see that? Other... I'm a Wednesday fan. Did you see the thing where the Sheffield United fan had got into the Wednesday ground and had a shit in the centre circle? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, now, I'm a Wednesday fan and I think that's fucking brilliant regardless. That's, class. that's what you would do, it, but opposite way around. I've considered getting my own back on them and doing something similar back, but I would get arrested. Well, they put a Wednesday shirt in Rotherham Ground. Rotherham Ground. Yeah, not quite the same as taking a shit there. No. Anyway, let's carry on having a look round. We are in the O2, I don't know if I mentioned that. Um, just having a, a quick look round at different shops and, and food places. It's a bit boring for you to look at. I thought you might want to look at um, the kick place, but we'll uh, see you in a minute. Right, so we are, this is weird. I'm not, oh, bloody hell, it's a bit, woo, all over the place, this, isn't it? Now, I'm not used to being in front of the camera. It's normally me behind the camera. So yeah, we've just heading back over the cable cars. We've just been in the O2, which is just down there. I don't know if you can show them. 
just down there. Oh, that were a big fart. Not a wet one. Yeah. It's because it's got a sweaty arse, that's why. Oh, nice. So, nice sweaty arse. But yeah, we've just been in there. You're actually really good. I've never been in O2 before. It's an amazing view, that though, isn't it? Look at that. You could, you're supposed to <laughs> look, look at that. Not just keep pointing at I me. I just wanted to see what you said. Oh, yeah. It is brilliant, that, though, across there, isn't it? It is. Yeah, so XL is just... This is where VidCon is, where we... Oh, no. There. There's VidCon. I it all into a spaz, then. I know. You don't like to say that word. And you can just see the lights. There. There. That is London City Airport, is it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah it is. So we're not far from London City Airport. I need another cable car. Doom, 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 doom. It looks weird with the red lights on, doesn't it? Yeah. So, anyway. Right, we will get back and we will speak to you soon. Bye-bye. Right, so we've got back to the room. I need to give you a tour of this place. Now, while I leave you paused on my awful face, I need you to go across to the main channel and I'll put the link in the description to watch all about this place that we stayed in. It is absolutely horrendous. It's by far one of the best places we've ever stayed. You can't even shut this window. You can't shut the window? No way. We've got a window that, which is broken by the looks of things and doesn't shut properly. This one boarded up. We're, Right above all the shops in what looks like Beirut. Let's go and have a look down here. Someone's been drilling the door by the looks of things to get in it. Let's have a look. We do this is this is like Estonia all over again. Let's have a look. We've got not even got ensuite or oh, in room toilets. Look at the state of it in here. And then we've got little area it's a kitchen but it's all communal and that's it there's a quite a strange smell of cat food in here which is odd now we we got a phone call from this from this place earlier on didn't we yeah saying that somebody had died they, we don't know if they died they just were really poorly and they couldn't leave the room so we weren't allowed to come well, until late now we thought this was really funny at the time but looking back now it was pretty serious both of us, two weeks later, came down with something very, very similar to the symptoms of coronavirus. Both of us had terrible hacking coughs. Um, both were having dizzy spells and feeling really, really poorly. So maybe we caught it from the room. Maybe we just caught it while we're at VidCon. But either way, never good. Can you smell cat food? You smell something. It's weird. It might be hot food from outside. What, cat food? It's warm in here. Well, no, not food made of cats. Be sure to subscribe and press that bell icon for all the latest updates. Right, so I think we've decided on this one. Ooh, might come down for a bit of breakfast tiffin. Good morning, 3 dollars Tiffin. I, I like stuff like that. I will happily have curry for my breakfast. So yeah, we're gonna head in here. It's a bit empty, this one, but it's right next door to where we're staying, so it makes it quite easy, really. Yeah, and there's a pub. Oh, we're gonna pub after. Just cross road, yeah, might as well. Let's hurry up and get in then. So Andy went for the Chicken chucker. Chicken chucker. Chicken chucker starter. I went for the chili chicken. You went for the chetty nad chicken curry, didn't you? Yes. Well done. And I went for the chetty nad prawn curry. Peel our rice each. He got a garlic naan. I got the chapati times three. I got the mutton ko So, quite good, really. Hopefully. Well, nice. hopefully, it might be absolutely awful. You don't eat with your left hand, you know that, don't you? Mix it with me right, I'm right handed. No, but you don't, if you are eating with your hands, not the knife and fork, you don't use your left, because that's for wiping your arse. Honestly, that's the truth. I wipe my arse with my right, so I don't care. Well, I do, but you, by 
sort of Indian standards, that's what you're supposed to do. Eat with your right, wipe with your left. Right, so that's my starter come out. Chili chicken and my chapatis, which I wanted with my mum, but I don't really care. Yours is coming in a minute, but she's bringing your naan with yours. Yes. So, cool. Right. Me naan? Your naan. Not, not me naan. It's not a naan, it's a naan. Bring me grand naan, baby. <laughs> right, so Andy's has now come out. It's quite interesting looking. Looks nice, but in a weird kind of way. Mm. Oh. Thoughts? Good. Got some kick to it. Spicy. Mm. Oh, go on, I'll get it. Try. I like. I like that. It's nice. I really like it. Good, nice now. Good, good. Right, so the main foods come, I've pretty much finished that. Pilai rice each. Um, chapatis with, that is mutton, isn't it? Mutton, mutton roti. I think that's mine, I don't, we're not sure. One of them's prawn and one of them's chicken. It's the same curry. But I'm not sure which is which. That's yours. Right. So we're gonna tuck into those now as well. Spicy. Yeah, my mouth's on fire and I like hot stuff, but my mouth's burning. Mine is. Right, so that's the food done. And you can't have a pint, you know, you can't have food without going for a pint. They're looking at us funny, aren't they? Yeah. I don't know if they're going to let us in, are they? Well, no. We'll get a go. Might have to get Let's a go. try. Got him on the pints. It's a bit loud in here for videoing, but we're ready. So yeah, we've got. You get am. Well, we're am still. We're am still. Yeah. We weren't going to get it from which box was busy. It was a bit lower. I've still got no idea what you're saying. It's just too loud. But yeah, the, the prices. Look. For a London pub, those prices are mint. Really, really good. But yeah. I'm not going to video anymore. Just want to drink. Right. So I've left Andy having a shit. <laughs> I'm coming, it's, it's Saturday morning now, it's about half past seven. I'm just coming to get the car because we can only park in the place we are for 20 minutes and then we'll get clamped. So, I need to shift it. No, I'm just coming past the temple, it's bizarre, I need to show you. Look at this place, it's insane. Now, last night, I can't show you inside, but last night these big doors were open, it were absolutely full. And there's big statues of gods and goddesses. It's just an amazing place, look. It's crazy. <laughs> right, so I've come to this car park. So because where we were parked before we couldn't we couldn't stay for very long. Once it got to 7 a.m. you were allowed to stay there 20 minutes. This one um, is a good long stay car park. It should be £20 over six hours to stay as long as you want. But when I've gone to try and pay through the app, it's £100. Uh, so two days, £100 for parking. I'm not doing that. So the only way to do it is to go and get some change. Now, I've asked Andy to come and bring me some, some change. And he's gone to the front door. It's locked. He can't get out. So he's gone round to the fire exit at the back. It's locked. He can't get out. So this place now is a bloody fire hazard. If there's a fire in that place, you're dead. There's no way he said, oh, I've even tried climbing out a window, he can't get out, and there's nobody to tell. What do you do in that situation? This is bad, this is really bad. So I'm now having to drive back to to get like, unlock him. I've not locked the door, it's just shut and locked. Unlock him from there so he can come and help me. Oh my God. Right, so I'm back. I'm here to get him. Give you a better idea. So look, up there, that's our window there that doesn't shut. <laughs> and, he's, and he's locked in. <laughs> he can't get out. This is terrible. There we go. <laughs> I can't believe you locked in. That's crazy. The fire is absolutely bollock. Yeah. Right, so now the machine's not taking pound coins, so I've been back just to get pound coins for him, for this, from him. And now we can't. So I'm just 
following very closely behind him just to annoy him see if this one works right so that's night one done in this place it's just even look at these how dirty everything's dirty but yeah we're off to vidcon now back off to vidcon and uh, we will see you later on right we're out and about for the morning just heading off into east ham station if we don't get run over there we go oh, wait, wait. Gonna be another big day today. A little long day. How's your uh, bum feeling after your curry? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Not too bad. I were a bit bubbly this morning, but that's about it. All right, I'll pace it up now while you're at the top. Come on, it's touching cloth. <laughs> right, let's go and get us tickets and get on underground. Right, we are having a few issues, nothing too bad. Uh, there's a lot of closures, isn't there? This, apparently this weekend, a lot of the lines are closed. So we've sort of had to go one way to come back another way and then We've got to get on another overground service to then change to get onto another one to go to the next station. It's just a bit mental. So we are on our way. It's about, I don't know what time it is now. It's about half nine, ten o'clock. Half, half nine. nine. So yeah, we're going to go and try and get some breakfast. We did see a cheap four breakfast. Nine, yeah, four ninety nine. Four ninety nine. Four ninety nine in London's not bad for a breakfast. So really? we'll go and take advantage of that. Yeah, the food we had last night weren't bad really either. So all good. Right, we'll see you shortly. What are your plans for today? What, what do you want to do? Breakfast. Breakfast, that is the most important thing at the moment. Yeah, definitely. Right, so I'm reckoning hit some of the, um, the sit down, viewy, watchy things and then mingle for a bit. Is that sound about right? Yeah. And then hopefully we have a bit of a madness tonight. I'm looking forward to tonight, me. I think it's going to be good. Be I want it to be messy. When was last time we had, we went out? I did. When do we ever go out and do anything? We're normally wandering round, exhausted. So anyway. Yeah. Right. So I've got our breakfast. Bacon's looking a bit rough, but other than that, it's not bad, is it? You make that. <laughs> it's like rock. Yours don't look as bad as mine. Mine's just like. I had a little bit on the other side, it was just like hard. Yeah, but look at this. Look at this one piece here. Look at that. <laughs> it's disgusting. And to be fair, it tastes really nice. And I've been doing my little trick that Andy doesn't like, which is. Dipping stuff in his tea. Like dipping, stuff, <laughs> dipping it in my tea. What's wrong with that? Just it's not longer. You want to get some decent eating habits. No, it's better than having dry toast, isn't it? That's my whole point. Do you ever have a mouthful of food and drink some tea? No. You're weird. Because I'm sophisticated. <laughs> sophisticated? Yeah. I'm, I'm suave and suffocated and I'm not eating like you're like a pig. <laughs> the whole point of putting bread in a toaster is to dry it out so you can eat it. Yeah. You don't dry it out to make it moist again. No point, just stick your bread in it. <laughs> but it's nice. You, you strange man, you. <laughs> I'm, I'm the strange one. You just look in the mirror, Michael Jackson. Don't, don't call me Michael Jackson. We've got to start with a man in the mirror. <laughs> it's more, it's more the children I'm worried about. Right, let's go. What is it with you on fish? What? Right, they don't know that we've just been talking about yeah. fish. About four times in the past 24 hours, you what to smell fish. <laughs> what does this taste like? It, is, it does, the bacon tastes a little bit like fish. It, it might be. I think it's salty, that's what it is, it's making me think of fish. Oh, salty fish. Anyway. It is a bit. It is. Right. Oh, it's not bad. <laughs> that's what she said. We've got a question here, go ahead. Yeah. What would you be your opinion of the, the someone that's a little bit more 
more regular. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, hopefully that will change going forward because, like I said, this time a year ago, it, Instagram, our Instagram was so different to what it is now. We've got dedicated socialists now that are going out and finding that kind of content, and they are trawling the internet, but they're also, you know, they're sliding into people's DMs and things like that. And I mean, if we see something good, we're approaching people going, look, we want to work with you, we want to do this kind of stuff. We do many, we've made a little bit of progress to work on the building and stuff, like, yeah. which you do have quite a, a few of those on there. Yeah. But then other things like, I was the guy that buried the McDonald's uh, under the ground. Oh, yes. you know I mean? Awesome. Uh, yeah, magic happening. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you very much for your amazing content. Well, that's that's great. I'm glad to I'm glad to hear that story also about just what is the, what's it like up here sort of dealing with. Right. So we're taking a bit of downtime now, and he's just having a bit of fun on his phone. <laughs> <laughs> not looking at porn at all. <laughs> no, you're well, looking at that us. Is porn. That look, is porn. Looking at pictures of us, <laughs> you weirdo. We've got us free coffees. We are about to go and maybe try and steal Bambino Becky. We know she's knocking about somewhere, so we're going to see if we can find her. Yeah, we'll catch up with you in a bit. Okay, all right. <laughs> so right, we are in the creator's lounge. Well, the creator's bit of an after party thing, innit? Yeah. <laughs> You're loving it, aren't you? You're loving it. I'm loving it, loving it, loving it. Oh my god. So I've only got three bottles. <laughs> Yeah, so we get ladies, I can tell. we get free beer. I'm on my fourth. He's on his third. We've eaten. I've eaten my own body weight in prawns. And all horses doobers. Horses doobers. Horses doobers. Horses doobers. Yeah. So yeah, free hors d'oeuvres off there. So yeah, we were supposed to be meeting. We've we've been talking to Bambino Becky earlier on. She, every time we talk to her. Oh, that were rude. Uh, another 25 million of her fans come along and steal her. So she said, oh, let's go upstairs, get away from everybody. So we did that. And then, not upstairs like naughtiness, like upstairs where we are now. Can't have naughtiness, but Rose Drew. <laughs> so we got to bomb the escalator. She was following us. And all of a sudden, somebody else grabbed her. And now she's disappeared. I think she's downstairs in the YouTube lounge, which we can't get in, we haven't got access to. But... We, um, we're hoping she's going to come up here because we want to go out and get something done. She wants to do something with us, which is really, really good. We're going to get a video out of this at some point. But I wanted it for tonight, but I don't think it's going to be. But let's just get on the free beer, carry on drinking that free beer, and then see what happens from there. He's, he's just dead. So. I've got no food all day. I know, that's it. I've had hors d'oeuvres. About 10 o'clock this morning, that's it. Yeah, nothing else. But yeah, hors d'oeuvres and that's it. That's all I've had. A couple of prawns here and there. A couple of prawns? You've had a bloody whale. <laughs> a lot of prawns that you've had. Oh, loads. Like a blue whale with plankton. <laughs> <laughs> I must have had, because I just had another three then, so I must have had 11 or 12 hors d'oeuvres so far. Oh no, in fact, probably more. That were just prawn ones. I've had other ones as well, huh? That's safe, that Yeah. So, right. We're going to get... We're going to um, get some more beers before the um, the strange man that's just been staring at us comes and gets us. Right, so we've made our way to the pub, which I expected that we would. We've come along with a load of YouTubers. Oh God. Well, I think I'm on, well, I had eight, nine, nine bottles. Nine bottles for free. And now I'm on my first pint, which it's, it's feeling quite good to be fair. I don't feel that bad. I don't know where I'm going now, I'm on the toilet and I can't find my way. So I've left Andy with a load of people we don't know, which is fine. And uh, I'm going for a wee. It's starting to hit me. I'm not drunk, you know what? I'm quite a big drinker, however, I don't drink very often. I can drink a lot, but not very often. So it's a bit of a change. I think the last time I went out drinking was about two years ago, properly. So it's, it's, going to affect me tonight 
I'm going to be a mess. I'm already a little bit tipsy, as you can probably tell by the way that I'm not talking very well. But we'll be fine. See you in a minute. I'm not out drinking now. Like I said before, that's my fine. <laughs> and his orange and whiskey. And another fine as well. Look at him. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> and then we've got Malfoy over here. Malfoy, how are we going today? We all right, pal? I'm fantastic. Fantastic, that's what I like to hear. So, what's your channel name again? Fuck. Do you do magic? Magic. Magic with Harry, yeah? You were the guy that invited us out for a drink tonight, weren't you? Yeah, I was like, yo, everybody, Fox, no. I appreciate that. I, I really do as do. well. I love coming out with a bunch of misfits and you are yeah. the leader. Well done. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's another one of the yeah. many misfits. <laughs> My mom just ran away in her at the hotel. <laughs> Let's talk to one of one of the many other many other. Oh, do you want to talk to us? What do you want to say? I want to talk. Hello. Hi. I'm Becky Burton, aka that short girl back. Small back. C H A short girl back. Fantastic. So, I'm almost 23. I'm an Aries. I'm the best person you'll ever meet. Yes, you know. And then That's we, it. That's and it. then we've got the guy that. I need. Do you want to fight me? <laughs> Me and this guy have been so. How big is my head compared to yours? You've got a small head, which doesn't. It doesn't help my. Small, I'm in proportion. That's true. But the thing is, you've got to watch out because oh, here we go. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Oh, I don't. I don't, thing is, Very close. I don't wear underwear, which is not a good thing. Commando, you heard it here first. Oh. Right, we're back in the room after a day in VidCon. It's been an amazing day to be fair, but it doesn't make you feel great coming back to this place. It's like literally every car that goes past, it's like they literally may as well be driving over your face. They, they seem that close. To be fair, Andy is taking it quite well. He looks just like a little head in a, in a blanket. Just a minute, I'll show you. Look at him, it's just like a little head. Wrapped up in a blanket. It's so good to be in bed. Oh, it's, I'm so tired. What time is it? About half two? Oh, something like that. It's been a right long day. Been a good day though, productive day. But like I said, drinking day. After a day like this, do you really want to come back here? I don't really care. <laughs> I'll but, sleep on a park bench and let it warm. It literally is like we sat outside. Yeah. It, it's awful. Right, so it's morning number two and we've survived the night in this place for a second night. I'm just heading to have a shower, which is worrying me. I'm not gonna lie, this, this place is just wrong in so many ways. I have to go back up to Andy and see if there's anything we can work out. I don't know if he's got any baby wipes with him or anything, but I need a poo. I need one quite bad. You ain't got any baby wipes, have you? No, I need a poo and there's no toilet paper. <laughs> so, yeah, we had a takeaway last night when we got in at half <laughs> two or whatever it were. <laughs> Absolutely. I've never had to leave my life. Yeah, I was so exhausted. So, in here, I know what's in here now. I'm going to have to make do with these. There's not many here. How do you want a big ass? Right? No, seriously, I get through half a roll. <laughs> I do. I'm a, I'm a bad for the environment kind of guy. It's one wipe and then in, one wipe and then in. So. I'm one wipe and then wash it in the shower. Oh, no. Well, saying that, I'll probably clean it. It's so dirty. Have you looked around edges of it? It's vile. And the water doesn't go, go down very quick, so I'm surmising there's hair stuck in the plug. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh that's vile. Oh, my. I wasn't going to tell you about that. Oh, one. you. I'm going back anyway because I've left my clothes in it's there. It's not really good for the shower either. either. Is it just like a dribble on no, your head? No, the shower itself, but it's the point of it. It's like we shoved up against the wall. <laughs> It's not clever. Oh, God, right, I'll see you in a minute. It works for you because you're bigger than me. Well, yeah. Mine don't slip with it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking, that'll be hilarious, though. 
<laughs> you'll ring him out, mate. Go get me out of you wrapped up in a... Oh, shark. no. That's like my worst nightmare. Sleep wrapped up. <laughs> right, let's get down and get washed. See you in a minute. <laughs> I literally, my head's almost at the ceiling. I'm gonna have to take it off the thing, I think, to wash myself. Ah, it's freezing. It's so cold. Ah, it's quite a nice shower, but I wanted a warm one. Right, so that's us done and out of here. Thank God. Literally the awful. awful place. This is it. Look at the state. Like I said, doesn't even tell you. Doesn't tell you it's a room. It's just a big hole. It's disgusting. See you later. Jesus, can't even shut the door. Right, so we've just got back to the car. I've got a ticket. It was that machine that I told you about the other day. We couldn't pay on it, it wouldn't let us pay. And I even put a thing saying that we tried to pay. I'll have to try and get it overturned. Because I've got video evidence as well of trying, and I? Yeah. So, right, anyway. So, Lovely to have you here. Here she is in London. Hi, London. So, as you can see, we are at the live stage with Tana Mojo. It's um, a bit noisy, so I can't really talk very much. But yeah, it's uh, interesting. I wouldn't really watch Tana Mojo if I'm being honest. But I thought I'd come and see her. Yeah, guys, I just want to tell you thank you so much to everybody in attendance right now. Give yourselves a round of applause, London. Come on. I know you're quiet, but be loud for yourselves. <laughs> um, it's right guys, so that is the end of day three of VidCon. I know we haven't really shown you much today. There's not really been much to show. Not to do today, really. No, it's been a bit flat in comparison to yesterday. Still had a really good time, spoke to some good people, and you know what, we've picked up loads of stuff as well, like yeah. from the the featured the bits. Yeah. So it's been good. We've, we've, I feel we've got a lot, and we might have got a couple of decent collabs coming out of this at some point. I Fingers hope so. crossed. I hope, so. I hope so. If people are true to the word, it should be brilliant. So we're just going to head off, maybe back over to the O2 to see if we can meet up with one of the organisers of the Denny Charity and get some photos. So we'll see you over there. But yeah, we're finishing the weekend as we started it, going across on the uh, cable cars. Like I mentioned before, I'm out of breath. I've just run up some stairs and I'm dead now. That's it. That's me done. How much walking have we done? Loads today. Absolute loads. loads. I think I've done 10,000 steps today. You've done them by what, 11 o'clock this morning? 10,000 steps by 11 o'clock. Mental. So anyway, we'll head off over there. It might be some good shots. We did it at night last time, so it might be nice to see it in the semi-daytime. So we'll... You never know. Your eyes look wonky. Are you, are you having a stroke? That eye, that eye looks lower than that eye. Not like that. Uh, no! I think you're an alien or something. No, it's normal now. I think you've had a stroke while we've been here. You never know with what you were like last night. You might have had a stroke. Yeah. Right. Fall out. <laughs> oh no, I meant a different sort of stroke. Nearly. <laughs> right, so as I said, the sky does look pretty impressive over there. It's not quite as good over towards the city where the um, sort of big banking buildings are but the yellow of the sky off into the distance looks amazing. We are pretty high up like I mentioned yesterday it does go quite high really but it's it's just lovely I love it. I think it's, it's, it's lovely. It's lovely. It's lovely up here. <laughs> do you like it when I do this though? No stop. Oh shit, I feel like we're gonna hit that. You will do if you rock it, you silly bastard. So shall I do it a bit more? No. Why? <laughs> because it makes me feel sick. Oh, we're going to... Ah, this is what it's like. You know when you're taking the piss out of me on boats? This but... Is, <laughs> this is what it's like. It's not very nice, is it, when someone's going, Oh, you feel sick, you no, feel it's not. sick. No, uh, Well, it'll teach you, won't it? It will. 
You're the bastard. <laughs> Right, so I just almost fell over there. Don't you fart in here. <laughs> oh, I might try and force one out just for you. Don't because I'm getting money out of my pocket and you fart and I've tasted it. We're like, <laughs> literally, there's lumps in it. So the, over there is, there is the XL where we've just come from for VidCon. That's London City Airport. Uh, let's see what else we can see up here. Obviously... O2 Arena, that's where we're heading now. That's the city with all the main banking buildings. Also, just a minute, over this side, there's the fart. Oh, I thought you were going to sit down next to me, you dip. <laughs> he stinks. <laughs> he I'm on. just having dinner at all. I'm at my dinner, you're rocking me 16 million miles up in air and you're farting in the confined space. What more can you do to me apart from. Oh! <laughs> Oh, I can't stand the jumper. <laughs> <laughs> that is bad. It was the smallest of farts as well. I thought we were all like a. <laughs> <laughs> Talking hell. There's something wrong with you. Stop eating shit. <laughs> to be fair, it was your idea to go and eat shit. You can't blame me stop, for it. Just stop eating. <laughs> At all. Oh, it's, it's still lingering. It's proper lingering, isn't it? I don't know what that's gonna do. <laughs> it's just gonna move it round. I know it's not. On the window. <laughs> now, I don't really know why we didn't film this, but we went across to the O2 and we met up with a very lovely woman and her daughter uh, to go and get some posters for Denny. Uh, we got the race coming up two weeks later. So, massive, massive shout out to Denny, all his supporters. Absolutely amazing bunch. Um, and now we're gonna head back off and probably head home. Right, so we're heading back over, off to the car, and then off home, and we are done for the weekend. Surely done. I'm exhausted. I'm so tired. Are you I'm, tired? I'm all right now. I'm not too bad. But I think as soon as I get in car, I might start flagging a bit. Yeah. And I don't want to flag when we get in car. That's not a good idea, because I'm driving. Although I might let you drive after it. <laughs> you need to get your practice in for a race, that's why. I don't need any practice. Yeah, but you got to drive tired, aren't you? No, not really. Kill a few small children on the journey. That's why, that's why I've got a co-driver. You do know you're not allowed to let anybody else drive, though. No, that's not in the rules. No, it is, because it's a race between me and you, not a race and someone else. No, really. That's like that's like getting a championship racing driver to come and jump in the car and, and rally across the UK. It's a race between me and you, not it's, them. It's a, it's a Le Mans race, which means you can have a couple of drivers. Cause it's we can't hours. swap drivers over, that's just That wasn't cheating. in the rules. Right, it's a race between me and you. Me and you, nobody else. Anyway, let's uh, look at the view. Look at the view. That's amazing. Right, I'm going.